B2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. All right. The same thing goes here. Uh, you have got your basic uh, behavior. I mean, just your skeleton of it and you're supposed to inherit in your subclasses. Okay. Any questions on this? Who is not at all familiar about uh, abstract at all? Does it make sense out here? Please ping me if you have any doubts. I'll just wait for a minute because this is a very important concept. And if you understand this, uh, we are going to jump on to another topic right now, which will help you in understanding things. So please uh, speak out and uh, come up with some concerns here. Yeah, they can do it. Yeah, there was a question if, what if subclass needs to use a superclass behavior? Uh, yeah, I mean, as you say, uh, ABC by itself, if you do not even implement your uh, print person behavior, if you talk about XYZ employee, XYZ employee has not uh, overridden the behavior of your, uh, of your print person behavior, right? But still you have the access to, okay, let's, let's, okay. When you talk about a client here, right? So I say ABC, ABC dot print. Uh, print person behavior, right? So ABC, when I go to ABC, ABC has already a method as print person behavior, right? Now, when you talk about XYZ employee, XYZ employee has not overridden the print person behavior, but still ABC will be having the, sorry, XYZ will be still having the access to your print person behavior, okay? Okay, so this is very similar to your extents, okay? So what, whenever a, a subclass is extending a superclass, it will basically access all its behavior. Can you please navigate to XYZ employee dot class? Uh, okay. So this is what it is. Is there a question Ajit uh, from your side on this? No, I'm just uh, trying to uh, observe everything. So if there is an abstract method, then only it's, uh, it will give a compile time error if you're not extending, if you're not implementing it, right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so if there is any uh, abstract method in an abstract class, uh -huh. which we are extending and then only we need to uh, have that in the, in the child classes, right? Exactly. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you see, uh, if I go to the employee, uh, did you guys understood the question? The question from Ajit was, uh, if you have an abstract method in the employee class. So we have to implement that in the subclasses. That was the answer. Okay. Now, what if I, I, mm -hmm. uh, if suppose the uh, subclass is in a different package, mm -hmm. then also we, we can do the same thing. Yes. It doesn't matter at all. We have to just uh, uh, extend that. Import. Yeah. We just need to have the imports accordingly. Okay. So we have to write the import statement too. Yes, that is required because see, if they are in different packages, so there is no point. We always uh, we already spoke about this access modifiers, right? So whenever any any of the classes are there in different packages, the very first thing is you have to import it. Okay. Correct. So even if you do not import, how will a class understand about a different class? Even though if suppose if you have, uh, let's say even your company to hire experienced guys is not even extending your ABC employee, but still in order to create an instance of your ABC employee or XYZ employee, he has to import the packages accordingly. Okay. So that is the funda here. Now, if you see here, one more thing, which I'm going to tell you here, uh, here I am in this company to hire experienced guys is using two classes. One is your ABC employee and one is your XYZ employee, right? 
Now for that reason, I do two imports basically. What I can do, I can just delete this, say star color. Okay, that means all the classes under this package is present in your company to hire experience guys class. Okay, but that means what all what all classes are present? You can see all these classes: A, B, C, employee, and X, Y, Z. All right. So in this way also you can do it. You don't have to import all the things in specific. All right. But it is always a good practice to be more specific on what you are importing. Reason? Uh, there is a reason behind this. If I go back to the package explorer to show you the libraries. Uh, go to the RT Java dot. A B L land. Okay. Now, as as I've been saying you from the very beginning, uh, I mean, sorry, not from the beginning, uh, from some uh, previous classes, that by default your Java dot lang is the one which is going to be imported to your particular class by default. Now, if you see here. So many classes are present, right? So many classes are there. Even though, I mean, uh, as of now, we cannot uh, help. Uh, we cannot. We are helpless here. All the classes will be present. Now, what happens during runtime? Uh, the, the class takes some time to load all these things, right? Because before even loading this class, all the class classes prior to it. Because for in this case, before even loading this particular class, all this class as well as this class should be present in the in this class. For that reason. First, these two class has to be loaded, and then only this class will come in picture. All right. Now, usually, what happens is when we go down the line, uh, when we start learning uh, advanced Java courses, we'll see that uh, let's say let's talk about uh, some JDBC concept that is your related to your database. Um, just for an instance, instance here, Java dot. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's let's talk about math otherwise here. Okay. So there, are, okay, there are a lot of packages here. No, not not a good example here. Uh, okay, Java dot SQL. Okay, now if you can see here, uh, when we talk about JDBC in specific, if I do the same thing, uh, let's say Java dot lang something like this, import uh, Java dot uh, SQL dot star, and I'll be using some of the classes under this. I mean, I'm talking about the same hierarchy here. Okay, now what happens basically? Under this uh, SQL package, there are a lot many classes which are present. Okay, but I'm only talking. I'm only interested about your timestamp here, for example, right? But even though I'm interested in about timestamp, I'm just saying star here. So what is going to happen? There'll be a performance hit basically in order to load your class here, right? So this is just an example here. If I talk about the same example, what we were talking about. Now, as of now. Let's say we have got uh, an employee here, and we have got ABC employee and XYZ employee. Okay. Now let's try to create a class for each and every uh, each and every class, sorry, each and every company which is present in US. So we'll uh, we'll end up uh, turning around, let's say, 3,000 or 4,000 classes we have to create it, right? Now when I talk about a company to hire, and when I say dot star, okay. But in this company to hire, he's he has only come to hire ABC employee and XYZ employee. He's not at all interested in any other company in this whole world, right? But still, when I say dot star, what happens? All the 4,000 all the 4,000 classes will be loaded first, and then this class comes into picture. So in order to get rid of that, in order to get rid of your performance hit, right? You only import that specific class which you needed in your class. Okay, pretty much clear, I believe. All right. So uh, let's go back to the ABC employee. And here, uh, as I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what if the uh, the ABC employee is also abstract, or the public class ABC employee is uh, even abstract? So, the abstract and abstract can understand each other, right? Um, I'm, like I'm, I'm coming to that. That was my next topic, Ajit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here uh, we spoke about the hierarchy here, and uh, let's say uh, 
ABC is a very very huge uh, company and it has got its own sub sub uh, employees in it okay uh, so let's say uh, let me take a good example here uh, okay so new okay let me just rename this to uh, Reliance employs. Okay, so Reliance by itself is a huge company. It, it it has got many branches under it. Let's say it has got its so its oil branch. Uh, it's uh, I mean uh, we'll talk about it. Okay, so I'm for now I have created an Reliance employee who is basically extending your employee here. Okay, now Reliance employee which is extending your employee. So do all those things blah 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 so let me do one thing let me being a abstract interface example right click new package under that let me create dot reliance finish okay and let me drag and drop this inside this right. so I did what did I do I have created a reliance change the package to reliance all right Okay, and I'm just going to uh, extend your employee. I have to import that. So this one. Okay. Now what did I do? Same thing. I mean, I just uh, switched the package here instead of uh, I I was very specific because I have to create some more uh, employees accordingly. Uh, so under let's say under Reliance, uh, Reliance has got its own uh, Reliance uh, uh, oil employees and Reliance. Uh, what all fields? Uh, okay, Reliance Petrol and Reliance uh, Clothing. Okay, so let's say Reliance has got a lot of uh, branch in it. So I'm going to say right click new. Now, when I talk about Reliance employee, now when you talk about an employee here, it is on a top hierarchy, and X Y Z employees have extended extended your employee here. Correct. Now. Here, even Reliance employee, when you talk about Reliance employee, that means there are a lot of employees. Now, I want to separate what kind of employees are they. Okay, so let's say here, uh, new package, okay. and I'm just going to say OIL, oil, oil employees. So under this oil package, I'll be creating employees related to your oil, right? So right click new uh, class. And I'm going to say this as uh, Reliance Oil Employee. Okay, and it is going to extend which class? It will not. I I won't uh, have this hierarchy to uh, I mean extend your uh, employee directly because they belong to a Reliance company itself, right? So they have to extend your uh, Reliance employee, right? That is how the hierarchy goes basically. Right. So whenever you have issues in your company, you go and talk to the manager. You don't go and talk to the CEO. Right. So this is kind of an hierarchy you even follow. All right. So here I'm just going to say uh, Reliance Employee. Okay. So pretty much good here. And uh, let me have the constructors out here. Uh, pretty simple uh, hierarchy here. And uh, let me even on, under your Reliance, right click New Package. Uh, let me say clothing okay now under this clothing I'm just going to create a new class here I'm just going to say here uh, reliance clothing employee okay so pretty much plain and simple I have created okay so this has to extend here copy this come here and paste it and create a constructor accordingly now why am i doing all these things here right uh, reliance employee okay but still whenever i talk about a reliance employee i will not take, talk about a reliance employee in specific i will talk about a reliance clothing employee or i'll talk about oil employee because either uh, an employee will be present in either of these two okay he will be not present uh, out of this okay uh, 
So what should I do basically? I will make a particular class. I will not allow anyone to create an instance of your Reliance employee directly. Correct? Why should I do that? Okay. Now, in that case, uh, okay. Let me do, uh, do the other way out. Uh, as an employee, right? So I want to have on the top of the hierarchy. I want to have public uh, abstract. Uh, Okay, public abstract. So what should I say here? I will just say uh, void. Um, let's say he is this employee is from a comp uh, from an IT company, and they, this is, this is not an IT company basically. So here I'm just going to say uh, employment type. Okay. So what kind of employment it is, right? So that's what uh, he. Uh, if you talk about an oil like um, oil employee, uh, employee is going to say I'm from the Oil, oil company and from your clothing uh, company and whatnot. So copy this. Now let's go back to the all the other hierarchy. Come here. There is no compilation issue here. Come here. There is no compilation issue here. But if you remember, we spoke about if you have an abstract uh, method in your abstract class and if this class has been extended by some other class, you basically get a compile time error here but if you see there is no compile time error here there is no compile time error in your oil employees also but let's go back to this particular class if you see here this class has got a compile time error right now what should we do in order to get rid of this very well i can do that i can uh, click on this and just say add unimplemented methods so i can do that but still if I say something like uh, sys out and say I am what type I being a Reliance employee and Reliance employee has got different branches here. I cannot give any generic message here. I cannot say for a particular employee that I am uh, I am Reliance employee. I want the base class this uh, this the base class to implement this particular functionality. So I want to say that I cannot simply say I am Reliance employee, right? Because if I say Reliance employee, no one understands whether you are from the oil, uh, oil or from the uh, clothing employee, right? So what I don't want this default implementation to be added in the super class here because uh, for clothing employee and for oil employee, Reliance employee is the super class, right? He is not at all bothered about any other, any other uh, classes at all, right? Now, let me before that, uh, as you know, if you have an abstract method, we just need to implement this. So let me add an implemented method here. Now let's go back again. Reliance Clothing um, and Reliance Oil Company. Now, what should I do? I want the way we spoke about XYZ employee and XYZ employee is actually uh, overriding your employee behavior as well as your employment type behavior, right? We have forced the subclass to use it. Right now, how do I force these subclasses to access or to implement the behavior of employment type? Right. So let me comment this out. Right. Once I comment this out, what am I going to do is I am going to make and again keep one more thing in mind. I don't want if anyone, if let's say being a client, okay, let's say. Uh, what is this okay reliance so if i talk about a client program here so when i talk about a client program uh, let's say end enter right so okay let me just organize this and let me comment out all these things for now okay now when i talk about uh, reliance employee what should i do basically i should say uh, i should not basically say reliance employee okay r e r e l e equals to new of reliance employee why i should not do that because i don't want to create an employee reliance employee i want i'm only concerned about a clothing a clothing hierarchy or a oil hierarchy here at all I, i'm not at all concerned about a reliance employee i Whenever I should create an instance of a class, I should either create the instance of that particular employee, whether he's an oil or he's from the clothing, right? So this is ruled out for me, 
I should not give the access for the end client or the any of the guy who is actually creating the uh, employee reference here to create the employee reference. So this is basically ruled out. Okay. Now we know that already we have seen it just now that if you do, don't want anyone to create an instance of this class, you make that particular class as abstract. Okay. Let's go back here. We have a compilation uh, error here. So what am I going to do is I'm going to first make this as an abstract. Okay. The bottom line, if your super class is abstract and it has got an abstract method, and if you do not want to implement that particular method in your subclasses, immediate subclass make that particular class also as an abstract okay now my goal is is all set my objective is i first of all i do not want anyone to create an instance of a reliance employee okay uh, without and if you see here reliance employee let me save this okay now this is not basically possible even if i give this h Okay. Now this is not possible because as I said, I have made that particular class as an abstract. Okay. Now this is one, uh, one of my objective is uh, fulfilled here. I'm making this as an abstract so that I cannot create an instance of this. So to whom I can create the instance of basically I can create the instance of the clothing or the, uh, or the oil. Now, if you see here, when I talk about a clothing or oil employee, it is giving me a compile time error. What it says, add unimplemented methods because it does not uh, the hierarchy in this hierarchy when I talk about in this hierarchy employee is on the top employee has employment type method which is just the skeleton under this you have got reliance employee reliance employee has not overridden this if it they if, if it would have been overridden this one then there is no compile time error in your reliance oil but as I said in your reliance uh, employee i do not want this to be this this to give a default behavior right so who should implement this coming on to the reliance clothing employee they have to implement this so add an implemented method save this and go to your reliance oil and add an implemented methods right so now whoever creates uh, the let's say when you talk about reliance oil employee type so he says that says out i am from okay i am oil type okay and the other guy says uh, i am clothing type okay and i'm good right now so when i come back to the company to hire i basically cannot do this as i know that and I basically will do something like this. So create an instance of your Reliance Clothing employee. Uh, RCE equals to new of. Okay, age is 15. Let's say for example, 15 that is underage, but still, okay. So now when I say RCE dot, a lot of things are coming up. I'm only interested about your employee type, right? Click run as job application, right? So I'm, I'm a clothing type. Okay. So this is the main objective uh, to talk about this hierarchy is we are creating a hierarchy and we want the end client to create a particular class in specific do not want to misuse any of the other things at all. Okay. So we are basically talking about hierarchy. And as you know, when I talk about, when I talk about a reliance clothing employee, he very well, uh, very well have the access to your, what your print behavior of your reliance employee. Okay. As well as if suppose you have some basic default behavior, let's say, uh, you just want to print the name, right? So I just say public void print name right so when you talk about print name print name will never change it is it is very generic a uh, message which i want to give it to each and every employee who basically is extending your employee here so i'll just simply say sys out okay 
and name name is plus uh, name right so this is a very generic message which everybody can use it so i have just made this name as uh, th this particular method as public void here okay and the same behavior everyone can access it so if i just copy this and go to your company to hire guys and say rce dot print name i am it is visible here right click run as job application so it says name is the issue okay so objective if you have some very default implementation for each and every hierarchy in that particular uh, each and every class in that hierarchy put that in the supermost class okay now i know that uh, this is from the reliance oil right this is from your let's say uh, it employee right so click on this uh, rename to it employee and when i talk about it employee they might be having their own hierarchy there are a lot of companies as well uh, so it employee it employee okay so this is what it is basically uh, it is an it employee and again it employee is going to extend your employee here right now i'll just take uh, five more minutes uh, i know whenever i talk about an it employee it employee will always have a computer uh, access and uh, let's say everybody knows some coding right so if i let's say I, I I go to the employee. Where is my employee? Employee here. Okay. I give some basic functionality of my employee here, right? So I say public uh, void. Uh, let's say computer experience. Okay. Now I can give some default functionality here, right? Now I say it's for the sake of uh, discussing right now i can just say i have no experience because uh, i know the guy who are uh, in the clothing industry or the oil industry they don't even have any kind of computer experience right now tell me we uh, this computer experience method is at the top of the hierarchy that is in the employee now if this is not applicable to the to the uh, employees who are from the clothing industry or from the oil industry why should i have this feature here right i, I should basically cut this right and paste it somewhere in the it employee right correct so this is what it is basically you know when you do not have a particular behavior or do not want any default functionality in this way be more specific in that particular hierarchy so when i talk about a, uh, employee it will be having its own behavior which is very common uh, if you want to be more specific go to to the uh, uh, to the subclasses and make that subclasses say again let's say if i make this as an abstract right and in this abstract class i'll make this computer experience as an abstract method okay so that whoever a b S T R S C T. So whoever is going to extend your IT employee, they are going to implement this behavior. Okay, your company to uh, so okay. Reliance Clothing employee is not at all concerned about your computer experience because they are in two different hierarchy. Okay, so IT employee extending employee as well as Reliance employee is extending your employee, and I have implemented the. Computer experienced, sorry, just given the skeleton of your computer experience to the IT employees, not to the employee here, right? So this a computer experience will be not applicable to your Reliance employees because they are in two different hierarchy. Okay, does it make sense, guys? Uh, we cannot create object to abstract classes. No, we cannot create object to abstract classes. Okay, so is it pretty much clear from everyone? Uh, if you guys can just say yes, 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 I'll be even checking in this file. I want you guys to at least practice these hierarchy and uh, come up with some concerns tomorrow. Yeah, you, I, I got. Uh, but I have one question. Yeah, please. Uh, the question is uh, the method, an abstract method. Can we? Uh, 
instead of having the default behave default signature mm -hmm. in the uh, in the subclass, can we extend it uh, and override it? Sorry, and overload it. You're talking about overloading or overriding here? Overriding and overloading both. So okay. let's say in this Reliance employee, you want to override this employee behavior and with string yeah. name. Yeah, like that. And without having the the, the top. Without having the having what? Oh, you can. Oh, you cannot. You cannot override. Uh, you cannot give the annotation as override because when you talk about first of all two methods with the same signature are not allowed okay gotcha. and if you say override uh, there is no method as such in the super class okay. right with the same signature so obviously it is going to give me a compile time error here gotcha. okay uh, and and uh, i want you guys to Create the instances. I have not created the instances as such here. I'm this is this is having a compile time error. I'm going to uh, I'm not going to uh, correct this file right now. I'm going to just check in as it is. So I want you guys to figure out what is the issue and even uh, come up with some uh, some some examples. Okay. Try to access your clothing employee and uh, have some private or protected or public variables inside this. Try to access it. Keep this as your base, uh, uh, base class. Uh, sorry, your client program, and try to do all the manipulations right out here. Okay. So I'm going to check in right now, and uh, we'll we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, with some questions I expecting. And tomorrow we'll see. Uh, Okay, I think we have already spoken about polymorphism. We will even talk about interfaces and what is an interface and what is the use of that. Uh, we will combine both uh, extents. Uh, when we will combine abstract classes, we will combine interfaces and, and whatnot. Okay, so stay tuned. But I want you guys to practice these examples at least. Okay, see the videos and, and, I, and do you guys uh, get the videos instantly now? No. <laughs> Uh, how, how much time it takes basically can you can anyone tell me now because I have already requested them so if suppose today class is done so when do you get the videos uh, so far we have only 10 videos video 10 until video 10 uh, so, uh, so I think uh, last was uh, video 12 today is video 13 I believe um, okay one sec. H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.